In Kanada, in der Provinz Alberta, steht ein ukrainisches kulturhistorisches Museum. Das lebendig gestaltete Museum zeigt, wie die Ukrainer zwischen 1892 bis 1930, die in Kanada eingewandert sind, gelebt haben. Um Frieden zu finden und mit der Hoffnung, sich auf dem fruchtbaren Ackerland eine neue Existenz aufbauen zu können, strömten Hungernde und Verfolgte aus aller Welt seit 1870 nach Kanada, das für sie ein Symbol der Freiheit war. Zwischen 1895 bis 1912, also in 17 Jahren, trafen zweieinhalb Millionen Einwanderer in Kanada ein. In dieser Zeit kamen die neuen Siedler aus den von Armut heimgesuchten Ebenen Osteuropas, aus der Ukraine, Polen und Ungarn.
It's a tree so you can build in your Buddha if it has. Oh. Well, but government is giving it uh, 160 acres for free. Oh, awesome. It's not too bad. It's maybe you're kind of getting it, land. Because government then is coming and checking for three years. Mm -hmm. If you're clearing trees and... To pick the beans. They are ready to pick. Pack is nice. <laughs> <laughs> but dear... You can buy it land also, but it is better getting free. Oh, and yeah. for us, like farmer, you know, we're going to clearing anyways. Moonshine, but we're not selling it. Mm -hmm. It's not. Lazan. 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 What is it? Mm -hmm. Forty-five string is sixty cents. Mm -hmm. Comments today about that. Yeah. <laughs> 
how is your garden? Oh, too bad. Too many weeds. Mm -hmm. uh, but still not bad. Uh, I was actually helping over at your cause house there. Mm -hmm. Looking better than it was. Twenty cents on here. Because that was not real money. Money we use. The George. And here we're going at 25 cents. But you know, you don't.
Ma na pesi. Oh, that's a white one, she says. You can fix it. That's the main thing too, you know, they could be potential customers uh, yeah. some some other day. Uh -huh. Keep all my money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your money. Like that. Oh, we are farming. Oh, you're going to go fly? Ah. Oh, it's nice and warm. Uh, yeah. So, how long you... and how is the beekeeping business doing? Well, so how do you winter these bees, keep them warm enough so that they survive? You wrap them in with the insulation. And you just lose the ones who are... In-laws, huh? Or you, My parents. Your parents. They come from Switzerland. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.